and Paul from the Studio X. In this series of videos, we're looking at the effects inside the Boss Katana. So if you haven't looked at the other videos, go and have a look at those as well. But today we're going to be looking at the slow gear. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio X. So what is slow gear? Well, slow gear is an effect that Boss brought out as a pedal that basically takes off the initial transient of your picking and slowly swirls into the note. Now, even though there's a few simple controls, it's really worth taking the time to set this properly. So what we're gonna do first of all, I'm just gonna turn the delay off just so you can hear the effect on its own. Now, depending on the guitar that you've got, you'll need to look at the sensitivity as this is the bit that makes the biggest amount of difference. So if I bring my sensitivity all the way back to null, it's just like my straight guitar signal. But as I slowly bring it in, you'll hear the initial transient being cut off. Now, if I take it up to 100, listen what happens to the guitar. Now, because the sensitivity is so high, the effect doesn't know what the threshold is. So on this Telecaster, which is a fairly low output guitar, I tend to bring it back to mid 40s. Now the rise time is the amount of time that the effect comes to its peak. So if I bring it back to naught, it's got a very quick rise time. If I take it to 100, It never really quite gets there. So I always think between 60 and 70 is a really good point. Now level, as we're in series, affects the total level of the signal. So again, we wanna try and match this so it's about the same as if the effect was switched off. I can bring that back just a little bit. Now things start to get really interesting when we start to add delays to it. So if you look at my delay here, I'm using the pan at 400 milliseconds with 25 feedback. Uh, the high cut is at four kilohertz. Tap time is at 50%. The effects level is 88 and the direct mix is 100. Now we can start to get some really nice violin effects if we start to use lead lines. So I'm Paul from the Studio X. I hope you guys got something out of that. I do want to say thank you to everyone that's bought me a coffee. I really do appreciate it. And if you did want to buy me a coffee, you can do in the link below. Now, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that are coming out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.